Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a love message from your person, your um, divine counterpart, whoever that may be. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Taurus. I'm first going to start off with the mystical shaman oracle to see some overall energies and messages that are coming through for you, Taurus, okay? So let's see what's happening, Taurus. What's going on with you guys? I've got the spiral, okay? This is kind of like, um, almost reminds me of like a spiral staircase and the owl, okay? So I feel like you guys are ascending to this higher spiritual place right now where you're gonna have a lot of clarity, a lot of wisdom. You're getting to this point where I feel like you're really going to be able to see the truth, okay? With the spiral and the owl, number 50 and 39, the owl to me is all about that discernment, that clarity, that truth, okay? So I feel like this is like an ascension to that point. This could be with this person or this could just be a spiritual journey that you guys are in overall or this could even be the energy of the person that you're dealing with, but... I feel with the spiral, there's a lot of layers to this. There's a lot of um, maybe situations you've gone through, challenges, experiences, um, steps to this point, okay? And the owl like flies above overhead and sees things from this obviously aerial perspective. And so I feel like if you guys can somehow step out of like what you're in and look at things from a different perspective, I feel like you'll be able to also see more clearly. It's almost like the truth is right there, but you guys have to be willing to sort of like step outside of this usual way of think, seeing things almost like the hamster wheel and see it from the higher perspective, okay? This could be the situation with this person, like it's all happened for a reason, it's all part of your greater plan, okay? Beautiful energy there, Taurus, okay. So we're gonna get into your channeled message from your person. I'm gonna start off with the Light Seer's Tarot card already wanted to come through this could be you guys capricorn taurus virgo or you could be dealing with an earth sign but let's see what this person wants to communicate to you hmm. Hmm. i am connected to you i love you i feel this connection the way you feel it i feel like you and i are intertwined no matter how we separate physical time distance it does not separate this bond that we have i have been working on my finances i've been working on becoming this really stable best version of myself and i feel like maybe you've been doing that too <laughs> look we've got the lovers and the two of cups i mean the love is there i have this connection with you that doesn't ever go away it doesn't matter if i'm focused on my finances it doesn't matter if i seem preoccupied with other things you are what is on my mind taurus okay there's things in my life that i really need to balance out within myself within my world that i can't just um come forward right now because i i want to keep things very balanced i feel like sometimes this connection knocks me off of balance and there's a lot of energies around me that i'm still tending to it's like inside i have this world that's pretty much dedicated to you but my external world has a lot of other um other factors involved okay there's people that i'm working with there's things that i'm doing there's goals that i want to meet and i don't know if i could keep that sense of balance if i were to come forward with you this is the taurus card um i'm just trying to have this ultimate stability and structure right now and i know if anyone could understand it's you taurus but i think also this is like I'm feeling like maybe you're on the same journey as me of this spiritual journey where you're just trying to get to this top, to this clarity, to ascend to the high, the best version of yourself you can be. And sometimes that means you and I might have to be apart for this. It doesn't mean the love isn't there. It doesn't negate the connection. It doesn't negate how I feel towards it. just means that right now we have other things we're supposed to be accomplishing in this 3D world. This is from All Things Intuitive, Hidden Truth, Volume 2. And you know, 
my past with you. I have trouble with intimacy. It knocks me off kilter. It makes me feel out of control. It makes me feel like um, I'm losing a sense of control in my 3D life. And I don't know what comes next. And that scares me, this unpredictability of our dynamic of... Um, of my life you know I need to always know what's coming next and it's a very big unknown with you I've looked at your messages I've saved your text and messages I've valued every communication you and I have ever had I think about you more than you would ever know I look back and it's like it's not fair that I'm almost always tapping into our energy without telling you but it's just I know that I'm being selfish and it's because in a way I'm trying to protect you from my trouble with intimacy. I watch you from afar. I admire you. I I have deep emotional feelings for you and it scares me. That's what I said because this intensity between us, this is on the bottom. I am committed to the things in my life. That's the thing. I'm committed to my obligations, to my finances. I know that you and I have had, you and I have potential. We've always had potential. This is from Mystic Moon arrows of love and I see that potential I see that we could grow it's not having to it's nothing to do with you and I know that sounds so cliche but um I'm waiting for the right time when you and I could have something and I can message you that's you know these messages I look at your text message thread all the time and I think about should I just message them and it's not just a message. It will open the door to this whole other part of me that I'm trying to suppress right now. I'm having these realizations, though, and I think in this time separate from you, the light bulbs are going off, and I think they're going off in you, too. I mean, I can't assume, but I'm just starting to have that clarity, that wisdom. Like, I'm starting to ascend to this different point than I was at and maybe I'm not who I was when we were last involved but at the same time I don't want to be taken back there and like I said you know we have this potential you are my perfect match it has nothing to do with that it's almost so perfect that it scares me that's what that justice is about it's like this really equal thing I've never had an intimacy like that I've never had a love like that so just know that in time with patience that I'll come forward and I'll message you and it will be when it's right for both of us. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope that resonated. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.